and welcome you into Dodger Poke Report for the next edition of Dodgers Down on the Farm, Oklahoma City style. This one, this edition is specifically for the AAA Oklahoma City Dodgers, so let's not waste any time and let's get to it. The Oklahoma City Dodgers just finished a great series against the Salt Lake Bees, which is the AAA affiliate of the Los Angeles Angels, so it's always good to have a good series. Even though it's just AAA, you always want to beat the Angels, the Crosstown Rivals. They went 5-1 and one this week against the Bees. Zach McKinstry came back down with the AAA club, and he leads the team in batting average at 335. He leads the team in on-base percentage at 419. Jake Lamb leads the team in home runs at 12. He also leads the team in OPS, which is on-base percentage plus slugging percentage at 905. And the great Miguel Vargas leads the club in RBIs. It may come as a surprise to find out that Jason Martin – the right fielder that was with the Texas Rangers last year that hit over 300 in his last 40 major league at bats last year. It may come as a surprise to you because he's not, you know, he's not the big hulking type guy. I believe he's about 5'8, 5'9, 5'10, somewhere in there. He actually leads the Oklahoma City Dodgers in slugging percentage at 531 and doubles with 12. So this next week, the Dodgers, the Oklahoma City Dodgers, the AAA affiliate of LA is at Reno for a six-game series, so an exciting an exciting week. They had, they had the L.A. Angels affiliate last week. Now it's the Arizona Diamondbacks AAA affiliate this week. So exciting baseball for the AAA Oklahoma City Dodgers. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to some of the action from last week. I wanted to start this off with something I figured that all Dodgers fans would enjoy, and that is Max Muncy hitting a walk-off. I believe that was last week. Thursday evening, maybe Friday evening. Don't quote me on the exact date, but that was an actual walk-off in Oklahoma City for the AAA Oklahoma City Dodgers that Max Muncy hit to win that game. And Actually, this was two nights before he got called up where he hit this walk-off. It was 109 miles an hour off the bat. It traveled 441 feet, so great job, Max Muncy. He got called up a couple days later. He had the good game, if you remember, the first game back with L.A., so there's Max Muncy. I wanted to show his walk-off home run he had with the AAA Oklahoma City Dodgers. Left-hander Andrew Heaney has now had two rehab starts with Oklahoma City. This last one was actually in the city of Oklahoma City, which is really cool because Heaney grew up in the Oklahoma City area. He went to Putnam City High School. His high school coach was Jim Drummond, who is a good friend of mine. So very cool thing. Heaney actually lives in Oklahoma City, so he's getting to live at home. Well, he, he is whenever Oklahoma City is in town, which they were last week. He will not get to live at home this week as obviously they're in Reno but Heaney got to live at home last week because he lives in Oklahoma City and he was on point as you'll see in this video with the riding four seam and what I mean by riding is he throws that fastball up in the zone and it looks like it's actually rising to the hitter he paired that with a slider combo that was very good this is a start from last Thursday he went 4.1 innings in that start he struck out five and he walked absolutely no one. So he'll have at least one more rehab start with Oklahoma City, and then the club will make a decision on him. So there's Andrew Heaney doing very well in his rehab with the AAA Dodgers. One of my favorite Dodgers in the entire system, Zach McKinstry. He is just absolutely pure class, and he is also a very, very, very talented baseball player. Unfortunately, he is back in Oklahoma City, but he's doing his thing again, and that is simply making the most of the situation that he has been given by the Dodgers. He just hit his third home run that you're seeing in this video. He's hitting 335, which leads the Oklahoma City Dodgers in batting average. He has an OPS of 881. He was kind enough to join Dodger Poke oh, about a week ago for an interview, so I wrote a feature story on him talking all about his background, the situation with the Dodgers currently. So if you want to see that, you can go over to DodgerPokerReport.com and search for Zach McKinstry. He's right there on the front page. The interview is linked at the top of that feature article. If you want to go straight to the interview, just go to the Dodger Poke Report YouTube page, and it's just right there on, on that YouTube page, and you can go right to the interview there. So Zach McKinstry having a great season in AAA Oklahoma City. He just recently went up with L.A. and had success for them. I think, you know, here pretty shortly he will go back up with L.A. and I think he will be a factor down the stretch for the Dodgers. Marshall Kosowski is a Dodger that may not be on your radar, but he needs to be. He put up another zero Saturday night for Oklahoma City. He's now gone scoreless in his last seven outings. That spans 6.1 innings, and he's gone scoreless in 12 of his last 13 
uh, outings, and that spans 16 innings. Its fastball slider changeup mix has been absolutely on point, as you're seeing in this video. So Marshall Kosowski, I think, is a young man that, that Dodgers fans need to pay attention to. They need to put him on the radar because he is having a very, very, very good year at the AAA level for Oklahoma City. Miguel Vargas, what else can you say about him other than he's just a tremendous offensive baseball player? You're looking at his 10th home run that he hit just the other day. He had two RBIs for Oklahoma City on Sunday. That's actually from Sunday afternoon in a game where he hit a home run. His 10th home run had two RBIs. He now leads the team in RBIs. He's second in homers. He's second in doubles. He's second in batting average. He's fourth in OPS. So he is truly just an incredible young offensive player. Mitch White is a right-hander that surely whenever he found out his next start was going to be in Oklahoma City, he was a little bit disappointed because he was very good with L.A. down the stretch last year. He's been very good so far with the big club here in 2021. But if he was disappointed, he didn't show it. He is just very, very, very professional. On Sunday, he went 5.1 innings. He struck out six, did not give up any runs. I've had a chance to talk to Mitch White, uh, Mitch White towards the end of last year. What a first-class human being he is. So if you want to see his feature, just head on over to Dodger Puck Report and search Mitch White. It's right there. His interview is linked at the top of that article. Or again, you could go to Dodger Puck YouTube and just search Mitch White, and it'll be right there. You can go straight to his interview. So Mitch White, back down with Oklahoma City. I wouldn't imagine for very long. You know, the Dodgers, the big Dodgers are in the midst of 38 games in 38 days or something like that. So they're being creative of calling people down, bringing them back up. I know Michael Grove just got called back up as Mitch White went down, trying to be creative to have enough arms to get through this grueling stretch of baseball. Jake Lamb had two more hits for Oklahoma City Saturday night. He now has a six-game hit streak. He has hits in nine out of his last ten games. He leads the team, by the way, in home runs with 12. He is second in RBIs with 39. He's second in OPS at 884, and he's fourth in batting average at 270. So Jake Lamb is having a huge year in AAA Oklahoma City. It has been reported that he has an opt-out coming up, I believe, in July or August. Don't quote me on the exact date. That was reported on Twitter by a very reliable MLB.com reporter that he has an opt-out coming up soon. So with the great year that he's having, it'll be interesting to see what the club does with him. I just got a chance to talk to Jake Lamb just this week, I have not even posted that interview yet on the Dodger Poke YouTube page. I will after I get this Down on the Farm podcast, this Dodgers Down on the Farm podcast posted and up. So look for that Jake Lamb interview coming up. Very, very nice guy. Very cool guy. Very interesting interview. He takes you through all of his career and being a Dodger and all those kinds of things. So Jake Lamb having a great year in AAA Oklahoma City. Robbie Erlin, a left-handed pitcher in the Dodgers system, is another one of those guys that brings Major League experience, in his case, quite a bit of it. He's an Oakland native, and his last two starts have been absolutely outstanding. The other night, he went five. He gave up no runs. And so far, his batting average against in this month is 129 in his two starts in June, and he brings 300. As I mentioned, he brings Major League experience with him. Well, how about 341.2 innings? of major league experience so so more uh, more experience depth in the Dodgers system and a young man and Robbie Erlin as you see him right there on your screen that is having a very good June starting to get hot and has had two very very good performances in a row I cut this clip out of Ryan Pepio's last start and the reason why I did I want to show you how he tunnels his change up off of his fastball if you notice his fastball starts on the inside here you see that fastball is on the left the change up is on the right look how they come out of the exact same tunnel but yet here's the fastball it stays on the inside corner and then whenever you see him throw his change up right here look how it ends up on the outside corner although they started at the same tunnel location as you can see again the fastball on the left and the change up on the right one of the main reasons why i think ryan pepio is so elite. His stuff is so elite. He knows how to tunnel his pitches off of each other. He knows how to sequence them, and he has a big future. Jason Martin hit his eighth home run for Oklahoma City just the other day. He's hitting 283. His OPS is 908. He leads the team in slugging percentage. He has a six game hit streak, in which during that six game hit streak, he's eight for 22 which is a 363 average with two home runs during that streak. During that streak as well, he has six RBIs and 18 total bases. He's another one of those guys that brings Major League experience. His last 40 at-bats for the Texas Rangers last year, he hit over 300, and he's hitting very good this year. So I think at the age of 26, he is really figuring out the offensive side 
of baseball, and I do think that he will be promoted to the big team at some time this year, and I think he will help them quite a bit. So there's Jason Martin, another Major League experienced outfielder in the Dodgers organization. I know I sound like a broken record, but the Oklahoma City Dodgers have so many of these guys like Tomas Tillis. We've gone over Jason Martin. We've gone over Jake Lamb and Robbie Erlin and guys like that that have major league experience that are back down in AAA just trying to put their games together. Tillis is one of those guys. He had a huge day for Oklahoma City just the other day with two doubles and a single. He's now hitting 323 on the season, and he has hits in six out of his last eight games. And during that stretch, the last eight games, he is nine for 26. Again, another one of those what I call fringy 4A guys that the club, you know, with his with his 323 average, and he's a good clubhouse manner type guy, they have to be thinking about, you know, what's the future for, for Tomas Tellez in this organization because he's making some noise with AAA Oklahoma City. I'm guessing I don't do very many of these without mentioning Ryan Noda at least once in the Oklahoma City's Dodgers Down on the Farm podcast because he continues to be a stat stuffer. He is second in home runs. He's second in walks. That should surprise nobody. Of course, he led all of AA Central in both of those categories last year in 2021, and uh, he's third in doubles. He's third in batting average. He's third in OPS on the team. And this is the payoff of being a guy. I've talked about this at nauseum that hits to all fields. And, and I have actually done a feature cut on him. If you go over to the Dodger Poke Report YouTube page, just search Ryan Noda. You will see the Ryan Noda feature cut. I have also interviewed him. That interview is on the Dodger Poke Report YouTube page as well. And I've written a feature article on him. So you can go to DodgerPokeReport.com, search Ryan Noda. His feature story will be right there. His interview is linked at the top of that feature story. The feature cut is linked at the bottom of that. So Ryan Noda, a stat stuffer. I love this young man. He plays both first base and either corner outfield position. He brings a lot of energy. He loves baseball, and he is just simply a great dude. So Ryan Noda is one of my favorites. Drew Avens has gotten hot as the Oklahoma City Dodgers social media feed the other the other night called him Drew Dinger has gotten hot. He's hitting 324 so far in June. In June, he has 10 RBIs. He has an OPS of 990, and he has raised his average by 78 points since April 27th. The Southeast Louisiana native, he actually went to Southeast Louisiana for his college baseball career. I love watching this young man. He brings a lot of energy. He is an extremely good outfielder. If you watch him, watch the reads he gets off the bat and how good he gets uh, jumps on the baseball off of the bat because he pays so good attention to where the ball is going to come off the bat. Very good defender. He's gotten very hot. And uh, as the season goes on, you know, normally he gets hotter as the season goes on. And that's certainly happening in 2022. I'm glad that you've tuned in to another edition of the Dodgers Down on the Farm podcast AAA Oklahoma City style, and I hope that you log on to DodgerPokeReport.com or you visit Dodger Poke Report on all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. This will be a podcast, so go to your favorite podcast streaming service of your choice, search Dodgers Down on the Farm. That's Dodgers Down on the Farm by Dodger Poke Report. So I'd imagine you could either search Dodger Poke Report or Dodgers Down the Farm and find this podcast, subscribe to it, and I, I release them one a day, so I'll release the Oklahoma City version first, the next day I'll release the Tulsa version, the day after that the High A Great Lakes, and then finally the final day I'll release the Low 8 Rancho Cucamonga podcast. So make sure and go to your podcast streaming service of your choice and search Dodgers Down the Farm or Dodger Poke Report and become a subscriber and never miss a thing from Dodger Poke. As always, I'm glad that you've tuned in and go Dodgers.